A St. John's woman credits treatment in a decompression chamber for freeing her from chronic and incapacitating pain. There was only one snag. Donna Joy had to pay for the treatment herself because Health Canada does not sanction it. Here are now's Otsward Zori reports. This is something that Donna Joy could not have done a year ago, standing at her sink and doing the dishes, unless she was pumped full of heavy-duty painkillers like OxyContin. There's no life? None. No life. Indoors, almost two years. Uh, could not go outside the breeze. A little bit of breeze it hit my foot on my leg, and that was it. I was a cry, scream, in pain. Three years ago, Joy injured her foot, stumbling into a malfunctioning elevator. The injury rapidly developed into a rare condition called complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS. In CRPS, the initial injury triggers a chain of still poorly understood reactions that leave the area, usually a limb, chronically inflamed, excruciatingly painful, and eventually crippled. Conventional medicine has no cure. In most cases, treatment comes down to often quite unsatisfactory pain management, as it did in Donna's. What kind of shape are you in? Oh. I, I don't even know how to answer that because there's times that I could quit. can't remember. I was had that many medications in me. I don't know how my husband handled it. I had to be very patient. I had to be very careful around her. Even, even moving around on the couch, if she was on one end and I sat down too heavily, she would find the pain. It was unbearable. There was no quality of life. We had nothing to do. We, we were given free hockey tickets to go see the ice caps. We couldn't do that because Diane couldn't go out in a crowd. If somebody bumped into her foot, that was it. The night was over. Yeah. After doing their own research, the Joys came upon this hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Patients are put into a decompression chamber and given pure oxygen to breathe. As the pressure in the chamber increases, the body, its fluids and tissues are flooded with healing oxygen. The Health Sciences Centre in St. John's has two hyperbaric chambers. The Joys asked for Donna to be treated in one of them. The doctor that's in charge of them said the, the machines aren't used every single day. They are looking for patients to be in those machines. However, Health Canada only has 13 very specific conditions that can be treated in a hyperbaric chamber. CRPS is not one of them. There is mounting evidence that hyperbaric oxygen treatment can help with CRPS, at least in the early stages, but it hasn't been scientifically confirmed. So the Joys dug deep into their pockets at this private hyperbaric center in Mississauga. I believe it might have been my third or fourth session that I actually started sleeping through the night. The first time in almost two years. And after the fourth session, I noticed that she could wiggle her toes for the first time in months. Donna went through another 31 daily 90-minute sessions. I had fallen asleep after the session, and uh, when I got up, there were no pins and needles. There was no pain, there was no burning. It's like everything was back to normal. You see her actually walking and, and, and able to bounce around was the, the best feeling I had in, in two years. <laughs> CRPS is relatively rare, but if statistics from Europe apply here, about 9,000 Canadians have it. Donna Joy says her heart goes out to those who can't afford private treatment and are forced to live with the kind of pain she got to know. She says in her case, the treatment did more than just give her back her life, at least for now. It most likely saved her marriage as well. That's what it's always. CBC News, St. John's.